Melody, the massage therapist, and I'm with my friend Andy, and I've asked him if he would do a YouTube video with me about um, the challenges he faces every day that we don't even think about, and um, he has cerebral palsy, but this is not my story, it's his story. So, back, it's all about you, Andy. All right. Well, if you really want me to be honest with you, I'm going to. Uh, I was born this way. A lot of people take their challenges and turn them the wrong way. Uh, instead of uh, mastering what they have, they, they piss and moan about it. Uh, I was given these challenges to master each and every day of my life from day one to day 101. You know, I know that I'm going to have struggles that are beyond the norm from when I lie down to when I wake up every single day. There's not 12 steps that will cure it. I just have to deal with it. But the one thing that the world does not understand today that I know is uh, that things take time. Every once in a while, your life will seem to be way out of focus. But if you take a step back, a deep breath, and understand that everything will work out, and if you take it a step at a time, you'll find your way. I've had over nine or 10 operations in life. Literally, I'm not, that's not a... How old were you when you had your first one? Five or six, I would, I would think. Uh, you know, that, that's not a, a euphemism, that's the honest truth. And so, you know, I've had to relearn to walk literally from my back up four, to four or five times over. Uh, and it, it wasn't an overnight process. You know, nowadays they, they have surgeries and they just use lasers and pretty much say, see you later, good luck. Well, when I, when I had mine back in the 90s, or earlier, even in the 80s, I got scars all the way up my hips from operations. And they're not just small scars, it's, it goes all, all the way up. You know? But again, like I said, I could either moan and groan, or, or I can master what I have. When I was in high school, uh, I'm 37, so I graduated in 1998, almost 20 years ago. I was told that I would never drive. But I have my driver's license and I drive my own car. How old were you when you got your driver's license? Well, let me let me answer a few more things here. When I was 16 years old, it wasn't just going to the DMV and, and filling out paperwork and going behind the wheel. There was about seven years of what ifs and questions and doctor visits and so on, just to see if I was going to even be able to drive. Uh, I I had a driver's instructor tell me I wouldn't be able to drive. Well. Yeah, in a way, I'm kind of glad she did because it pushed me over the limit. Uh, I, at the time, I didn't know it, but I had what they call a lazy eye. So I had to do eye therapy, uh, both at the doctor's office and at home, to get my eyes to work the right way or in conjunction, or like I said, focus. I was 21 when I finally received my driver's license. But ladies and gentlemen, I'll tell you, because it's it was... Uh, not a guarantee. It's as sweet as it is 16 years later as day one because it was earned. It wasn't just something that was just a walk in the park. Now, you know, I'll never have a DUI, I can guarantee you that, uh, because of what I work for. Uh, I, I don't have a college degree. Um, Either do I. I work at Safeway. You know, and, and like I said, I can moan and groan because everybody in life is making 30000 a year. Uh, you know, or whatever, or, or I can deal with what I have and take it as is. Uh, you know, another thing I want to tell you is like, you know, seeing all my friends get married and things, that's rough. But I could either put myself in a corner and complain, or I can congratulate them and smile and, and wish them the best and hope that they stay married for it. And I do do that. I said in the beginning of this, life can be out of focus. Well, if you take it one step at a time, your life will be in focus each and every day of your life. Thank you, Andy. You're welcome.